3M is recalling more than 100,000 pickup trucks for turn signal issues. Gas prices continue to fall as oil prices drop to $70 a barrel, but will they hold out? The RV industry has an optimistic outlook for next year's sales as new RV shipments close out the year for the lowest total in a decade. Fleetwood RV has introduced two new Class B camper vans on Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. California enters a new phase of heavy-duty vehicle regulation that requires annual vehicle testing, and a new camping resort offers you the surprisingly affordable chance to stay in a multi-million dollar RV formerly owned by Will Smith or Jennifer Lopez. I'm Jason Epperson, this is RV Miles, and it's time for the latest in RV and camping news. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. First up, Ram is recalling more than 142,000 pickup trucks due to problems with their turn signals that aren't turning off. In a letter sent to dealers, Ram explained that the trucks affected by the recall may have been built with a steering column control module that has an out-of-spec turn signal self-canceling anti-jam component. According to Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, the turn signal operating unit must be self-canceling by steering wheel rotation and capable of cancellation by a manually operated control. But the fact that the turn signals aren't turning off is not the only issue here. The faulty part can also cause the affected trucks to turn on their high beams when drivers use the turn signal, potentially blinding oncoming traffic. It also works the other way around with the turn signal turning on when the driver turns on their high beams. The recall includes the 2023 Ram 1500 as well as some 2023 and 2024 heavy duty Ram trucks. Owners will be notified with letters and instructions for repair soon. The national average for a gallon of gas is still steadily retreating, dropping four cents since last week to $3.20 a gallon. The main reason is a weaker cost for oil, which is struggling to stay above $70 a barrel. OPEC has announced production cuts of about 2 million barrels a day in order to try and get that price back up, but that's had little effect on the price of fuel yet, thankfully. Crude oil tends to drop nearly 30% from late September into early winter, with gasoline prices following behind, so this isn't really something totally abnormal. But more than half of all U.S. fuel stations now have gasoline below $3 per gallon, according to AAA, and by the end of the year, the national average may well dip below that. We're seeing some meaningful reductions in the price of diesel, too. The national average is 416 today, down about a quarter from a month ago and down 87 cents from a year ago. RV wholesale shipments are expected to hit 350,000 units in 2024, according to a new quarterly forecast from the RV Industry Association's external data firm. That'd be a 12 to 16% increase over the expected 2023 year-end total that's going to hit about 308,000 units, about half of the all-time high in 2021, and the lowest total RV units manufactured since the recovery in the years following the Great Recession over a decade ago. But if shipments do trend up next year, that could mean that this period of pain may be relatively short. High interest rates, declining consumer buying power, and built-up RV inventory led to a decline in RV shipments for 2023. However, with the run-up in interest rates subsiding and continuing to dissipate throughout 2024, the industry is optimistic about regrowth, most of which will probably happen more in the latter half of next year. Thor Industries, the largest overall manufacturer of RVs in the world with brands like Keystone, Airstream, and Heartland, has released its latest quarterly report to investors with revenue dropping to $2.5 billion compared to $3.11 billion in the same period last year. North American towable RV net sales were down 28.3%, driven by a 13% decrease in unit shipments and a 15.3% percent decrease in the overall net price per unit. So if you're wondering how much prices have dropped on a new trailer over the course of the last year, it's about 15 percent. Thor's North American towable RV gross profit margin was 12.5 percent for the quarter, compared to 14.9 percent in the prior year period. Thor's North American motorized RV net sales decreased 36.7 percent. Quote, in lockstep with our independent dealer partners, Thor continues to navigate the prolonged challenging RV environment in North America, stated Todd Wolfer, Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. Prudent focus on operational execution across each of our business segments once again enabled Thor to deliver resilient margin performance even while we successfully worked to drive down prices in North America to reflect the current market demand. 
Fleetwood RVs, part of Rev Recreation Group, has announced two new Class B motorhomes, the Fleetwood Excursion and the Holiday Rambler Expedition. The Excursion and Expedition introduce multiple floor plans catering to different preferences and needs of RVers. The AL2, designed for adventure-ready experiences, is built on the compact 144-inch wheelbase sprinter chassis. It can be equipped with all-wheel drive and a roof rack while the SL2 is built on the standard 170 Sprinter chassis and the SL2E and SL4E are built on the extended chassis and they have additional seating. Fleetwood Excursion models will be arriving at dealer locations in December while the Holiday Rambler Expedition will follow in January. More in a moment, but first this video is sponsored by RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Did you know that the mattress that comes with most RVs is often just a placeholder? Look inside it. Does it look like a bed of ramen noodles? Most RV manufacturers never intended that you'd actually sleep on it. We've been using mattresses from Brooklyn Bedding in our last two RVs. We couldn't be happier. You can choose your thickness, all sorts of different odd RV mattress sizes, but from an actual mattress company that has both foam and hybrid mattresses with actual coil springs in them. We're sleeping great on real mattresses from a real mattress company in our RV and in our home now. RVmattress.com offers a 120 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. Plus their products are entirely toxin free. They're simple to ship and set up. We've even had them shipped to campgrounds from their factory in Arizona. You just unroll them and let them expand. The RV Miles community gets 25% off when you visit rvmattress.com slash rvmiles and use the promo code rvmiles. That's rvmattress.com slash rvmiles with the promo code rvmiles at checkout. Our thanks to rvmattress.com and Brooklyn Betting for supporting this channel and to you for supporting our sponsors. How would you like to stay in the RVs and star trailers formerly owned by some of the world's biggest celebrities like Will Smith, Simon Cowell, and Jennifer Lopez? Well, you can. At a new glamping resort called 7744 Ranch in Austin, Texas, the resort owners charge $295 a night to stay in units that cost over $4 million. And these are huge two-story trailers with all the luxury amenities. Will Smith's former trailer, for example, is lined with rich wood details, a steam shower, and a 100-inch TV. The property is just 10 acres, which is quite small when it comes to a luxury RV resort, but when you consider that there are only five RVs on the property, it's practically a paradise full of trees and with amenities like a cold plunge, sauna, and oversized game boards. The California Air Resources Board's Clean Truck Check moves into Phase 2 on January 1st. That's formerly known as the Heavy Duty Inspection and Maintenance Program. The regulation is supposed to ensure heavy-duty vehicles operating in California are well-maintained and repaired quickly when needed to reduce emissions and improve public health. The program includes nearly all non-gasoline vehicles with a gross vehicle weight rating over 14,000 pounds that operate in California. This includes California registered motorhomes, but out-of-state motorhomes are exempted, which wasn't going to be the case at one point. California has already begun deploying remote monitoring of vehicles out and about on public roads and is requiring potential high pollution emitters to submit to testing. On October 1st, all vehicle owners who are subject to the program were required to enter their vehicles into CARB's Clean Truck Check database and pay an initial annual compliance fee of $30 per vehicle. Starting in January 2024, owners will need proof of compliance to continue operating the vehicle in the state. Again, this is only motorhomes registered in California, but all other diesel vehicles over 14,000 pounds are not exempted, no matter what state they're registered in. Phase three of clean truck check requires heavy duty vehicle owners to conduct periodic emissions testing on their vehicle. This is similar to California's smog check program for cars. Periodic testing begins later in 2024. Agricultural vehicles and California registered motorhomes are going to be required to test once annually. That's it for this week's RV and camping news roundup. We're gonna be at the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa in January. We're also gonna be at the Kansas City RV Show in January, and then at the Seattle RV Show in February. We're gonna be doing some seminars and lots of fun stuff. We hope to see you there. And if you haven't checked us out on the RV Miles podcast, it's available on any podcast app, and it has its own dedicated YouTube channel here. We just hit our 300th episode, we're really proud to have reached that milestone. So we hope you'll check it out if you haven't. Thanks a lot for being here, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.